M0 FXB Radtel RT20. Watch this, I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. And you'll see I've added a boot up picture and my name there. Now the firmware version that we're running here from Radtel, I have never seen before ever. So this should be the first in the world to actually see this operating. The radio or another version of the identical hardware is the Abri 2520, which is still a very nice radio. But this, this firmware adds voice prompts and a very nifty GPS. Watch this. You can see the GPS logo at the top. Hold down the P1. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. There it goes. So if you hold it, you saw it turns off the squelch. And if you don't hold it, then you get to see this lovely display. It's a VHF, UHF and airband radio. So let's just press that again. It's only a small thing. The back button, I believe, is... Well, look at that. It's telling me that we haven't got a lock when I press that. Look, unlocked. Fair enough. Uh, take it outside. You know, we're in a small shack here. Back button is the two flat lines. Let's press the, the P3 briefly. And look, it's starting to scan. If I grab one of my radios here and just key up. There you go. I did key it slightly off. Let's do that again. Press it. Go back first and then key up. And you can see that. Oh, it even picked up the, the, um, the tail squelch that's on my, it's a VGC radio that you've got there in the background. Let's press it again to come out. Two flat lines. Back out. Let's hold it, see what we get. And these shortcuts on these buttons, you can add them, yeah? And now look at this. We've got a spectrum scope. Now, I'm brand new. I've literally just got this working. Oh my God, BBC News. The problem I had was when I was uploading the software, um, that worked fine. I've made a video on that. I'll make another video on it. But at the end of the video, you have to reload the programming software to the radio. And there was a password, which is 707070. I'll put all the links in the description for that. And because I didn't have the password, um, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to load. And then I messaged Radtel and they replied to me and said, here's the password and this is where you put it in. It's literally working perfect. And the first thing I noticed was the voice prompts. As soon as you start using it, it talks to you. Um, just to say, you know, that there's a, a, a very large microphone here, as big as the radio, that pretty much controls everything. And the idea behind that is that you can hang it from your, you know, your wing mirror on your car and you can control everything. And if you, if you hold down any of the buttons, you, there's a function, but also you have the actual programmable function buttons that you can see the P1 and the OK and the up and down. So you can completely control this radio just using... Uh, you know, just using the microphone. And if you're curious to know what it costs, about £75, 25 watt radio. So I, as you can see, the scope's on. I'll quickly key my mic. There is a, I can see there's a, it's scanning from 400 to 470 there. So if I just quickly key, um, on, we're all keying on 433 there. So yeah, I, I am seeing it go up here. I'm sure this is all adjustable. I can see it's bright red at the moment. Let's just push a couple of buttons and see what it does. So you can see it's saying space, decay. It's got the frequency there. So you still see your frequency in the center, I'm guessing, the green line. Let's hit the green. I was wondering if we could change the colors. And that zeroed everything off then. You see that? And it's changed the span. So 914, that says now. Oh, gone back on. Let's just go back here. Hold down the P3. And, and you can change what the P3 does. Let's just go up and down. Oh, look at that. Turn up the volume. I can't, can't see that we can hear anything yet. Um, yeah, we'll see if anyone transmits on Hubnet. And then see if that comes up, comes through. I'm not hearing anything. Duh, duh, duh. But okay, you know, we've got more to learn. I'd like to change the red to a blue or a green. So right, let's just back out. We push the two lines there. If we press the green. Channel mode. Zoom mode. 
doesn't it? It does actually have zones and they are all in the software as well and they're very easy to populate, very similar to DMR. Frequency mode. Frequency mode. So you can just type a frequency using the microphone now. Like so and when you when you key look it goes red and when it receives it's uh, I think pretty sure it's green. We'll put a, a, a tone in at the moment and you can display either VFO mode as well or channel mode and when you're in channel mode you're going to show the hopefully the names and we have been programming so look it says hubnet here where I program one in. Let's just see if it works. M0FXB calling for a contact. So no, so I would say I need to put the tone in because um, that should have opened up. And again, that's very easy to do with the software. And on the screen, we're seeing the GPS there. We're at dual watch as well. We're, we're going to go into the menu now and change some selections. And of course, at the end of this, I'm going to show you how to load the new firmware because you've probably got an Abri 2520. And you'll maybe, you might be thinking, oh, I'm trying this. But I mean, at your risk, of course. So go menu. That's the flat line here. And, you, you know, I keep saying this, but you can use the microphone, you know, you don't have to and, and exit and then you've got OK and you've got up and down as well here. But anyway, I'll do it on the radio. So um, the first thing is go into the menu, flat line, and then the menu screen has changed. It's a different style of screen. It's probably the same settings. So the main one is the first one, which is number one. And we're just going to go OK to that and just look what it says here. There's my call sign and you can do it on the radio, but it's a lot easier with the software and go back with the two lines. Uh, and then let's just go down the list and I am actually using the mic so that I don't get in the way of the radio. So I want you to see that nice and clear. So yeah, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and like. And if, if you want, join my channel. Why not? It's at the top there. It's a pound a month. And then you become part of my community, which is a very, which is a growing community of hams helping hams and non hams as well. Remember that, you know, we help everyone here. So voice prompts, you can turn them on and off. I'll leave them on for now. Key beeps, timer, key LED. Oh, they look like they're off at the moment. Let's just have a look. Let's go up one. Click OK, and I'm going to turn them on. Uh, I'm not really sure what colour they are in this light, but anyway, at least they're on, and then we'll see. Uh, let's go down, and the menus are all numbered. Look, five, six, seven, eight. Light timer. Click OK. Um, the, the timer's not on, so that means it's on all the time. And if you weren't using the mic, you just go up and down with these two buttons here. TX priority frequency step. There you go. Talk around scan mode, scan direction, up and down. Okay. Scan return. Quite a few scanning functions there. Scanning dwell, how long it hangs. Alarm type. I've noticed it's got like an alarm in there, so not sure what that is yet, but interesting. Main PTT. And there are two PTT buttons on the on the actual microphone. This is a lot of the budget radios are doing that now. You just think seventy five pound and you get all this and you can listen to Airband VHF UHF probably PMR GMRS. Victor Alpha Three Delta Golf. Victor Alpha Three. Now if Delta I get to Golf tone, Golf I'll be able to reply to that station. Let's just go, so yeah, that's, that's Canada, and the reason I'm listening to Canada is because I'm using an all-star node, which basically connects you around the world, um, you know, um, you, it's a box connected to the internet that receives this frequency. So someone's actually keyed there, so we'll keep going down. And I've seen this, 6 and 8 bit input, what's that? You know, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, save channel, so this, if you want to save a channel, nice and easy, just Click OK, choose the channel that's on the VFO mode, click OK and it's done and then you can delete it and probably name it now. See, there's my firmware version, 27, so it's 2.03, OK, it's recent, look look at the date, uh, looks like it's 7th of November, so very recent firmware, that's what I'm saying, you can factory reset, you can add your name and call sign, turn the prompts off. 
So let's go back and go to the next menu, which is key defined. So you can set up what all your key buttons do. Let's just look at one. And uh, yeah, sorry about the glare here. It's quite hard to film the screen. That's a bit better, isn't it? Um, and let's just go enter and you can, you know, choose what you want the buttons to do. And you've got choices here of, let's just press enter again. Look, GPS and it records audio. I'm not sure what none means. Uh, maybe not. It means it'll do nothing. Monitor, TX, scanning. Roger B. Oh, yeah, FM radio. And I'll show you the radio in a minute. It actually looks really cool. I'm not seeing Bluetooth, but there is a Bluetooth module in this device. There's your CTCSS as well. Look, Spectrum that we saw. These are all shortcuts, okay? Squelch, AM, FM, GPS, send, record. Okay, I'm not seeing any Bluetooth, which is a surprise, but we'll see. So let's just go back to menu and we'll go to analog set. So is that just a normal channel, TX level, start tone, end tone, single tone, or mic gain, we've got that, we need that. Speaker gain, ooh. And um, there is a speaker uh, port at the back. Detect range, all oh, right, that's when you're scanning. Repeater delay, DTMF, and I've looked at the DTMF, it looks like it works fine to me. And we will, of course, test that. Let's exit, I don't wanna do too much. Channel set, that's gonna be Put your tone in, put all your parameters in. And um, there you are, name the channel, offset direction, there it is. And so in channel set is your offset. Um, like so. Plus and minus shift, CTCSS. AM, FM, receive. Ooh, let's go back to that in a minute. Click OK. You can choose AM, receive. Okay. Uh, fair enough, because it is an airbound radio. There's your CTCSS. We just go menu. I'm going to turn it on. Go do that again. You have to hit the star, which is here, and then go down to 77. Click OK. And then if I exit, it should open up the hub net. Let's just try it a minute. I'm going to do the top PTT. No. Maybe I have to be in VFO mode for that. So let's go to VFO mode, key now. No, and let's try the tone now. So we've got an antenna on. Let's go to menu. And this, it was channel set, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. Maybe I shouldn't try it now. <laughs> anyway, I pressed OK on the mic then. Uh, transmit. Let's do it again. Hit the star. Down to 77. Click OK and exit. Let's try now. No, it's not. I think we'll do a separate video adding the channel because I don't want this video to be too long. So I just before I forget, this rate, remember I said to you about the radio? Let's hold down P1. No, it wasn't on P1. I definitely saw it. P2. I noticed that when I hold the button, it's changing the power. It just says it here. High, low, medium here. Brief press. There it is. I knew we had radio. Okay, not, not hearing much, but there's your radio mode. Normally... Not great at the moment, but it's work, you know, it's on, maybe a different antenna. Normally I pick it up on my wire, on my VHF antenna. So going back, you can hear that it's a nice loudspeaker. So I think that's about it. We'll do different videos, adding repeaters and adding memory channels. It has got, it has got a, a big section on, a very big section on um, zones uh, in there as well. So thanks for watching, sounding great, if we go to the B band, a minute, so we'll go to, I need to learn the B band already, let me just suss it, now on the mic, if I press the red exit, it goes to the B, and I can go 1, 3, 3, 8, 5, 0, and we're on, we're on air band, 
I probably need to turn up the squelch. A and just move away from those people a minute. Look at that fine tuning. Right. So it's squelch off when it's in AM. Now are we in AM? Let's check. Squelch level. Let's do that. That's a bit better, isn't it? Now it's still kicking in. Surprised at that. Did I press the squelch off? Oh, look, there's the uh, GPS. Well, I think that's enough for now. It's a 15 minute video. It's quite long for me. And uh, thanks very much. Please hit the like, subscribe, the Radtail RT20 with the latest firmware. Bye for now.